This is question 9. In part A, we're asked to write down the two solutions of the equation tan of x plus 30 degrees is equal to tan of 79 degrees in the interval where x is between 0 and 360 degrees. The question carries two marks. The first statement that I'm going to make is that x plus 30 will be equal to 79. Therefore, from this, we can see x will be equal to 49 plus multiples of 180 degrees. The tan curve cycles every 180 degrees. So our first one is going to be 49 degrees. We need to add 180, so it'll be 229 degrees. So part A is done, 49 and 229 degrees. In part B, again for two marks, we need to describe a single geometrical transformation that maps the graph of y is equal to tan x onto the graph of y is equal to the tan of x plus 30 degrees. This is a translation. It's in the negative x direction. So we can say negative x, so negative x direction. And we have now a 30 degree shift. So 30 degrees. If you want a vector, it's minus 30, 0. So a sentence to state a translation of 30 degrees in the negative x direction will give you the two marks. In part C, the first part says, given that 5 plus sine squared theta is equal to the quantity 5 plus 3 cos theta multiplied by cos theta, show that cos theta is equal to 3 quarters. The question carries 5 marks. What I'm going to do is use a trig identity. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta will always give us 1. We can rearrange this and we can say that sine squared theta will give us now 1 minus cos squared theta. I'm going to substitute this into the left-hand side of the equation. So what we're going to have is 5 plus, instead of sine squared theta, 1 minus cos squared theta. Then on the right, expanding the brackets, we're going to have 5 cos theta. And then we're going to add to that now 3 cos squared theta. We've got a quadratic in cos setting the left-hand side to 0. I'm going to add cos squared theta to both sides. That's going to give me 4 cos squared theta plus 5 cos theta. And then we've got a total on the left-hand side of 6 minus 6. We can see this is going to factor here with the 4, uh, 3 3 over 4 is equal to cos theta. That's going to help me out. So I can say now that this will be 4 cos theta minus 3. And that's going to leave me with cos theta plus 2 is equal to 0. So from this, we can see that now 4 cos theta minus 3 would be 0, which gives me cos theta will be equal to 3 quarters. Now, this one right here tells me that cos theta would be equal to to minus 2. Cos theta is never equal to minus 2 for real solutions, therefore we can discard that solution. If we think about now the cosine curve, the cosine curve, and we'll start at 0, we come down to the minimum, back up to the maximum. So we have here 1 and we have minus 1. It's never now down here at minus 2. So this doesn't provide any real solutions. In the second part, it says, hence solve the equation 5 plus sine squared 2x is equal to the quantity 5 plus 3 cos 2x multiplied by cos 2x in the interval where x is between 0 and 2 pi, given your values of x in radians to three significant figures. The question carries three marks. If we look here, these are nearly identical. The only difference is that theta is now 2x. So what I'm going to write then is let theta be equal to 2x. So what I have here now is that cos 2x will be equal to 3 quarters. The way in which you solve this is entirely up to you. What I'm going to do now is write that 2x will be equal to the inverse cosine of 3 quarters. We will also, by symmetry, have 2x will be equal to 2 pi minus the inverse cosine of 3 quarters. And then we will consider subsequent solutions. 
Remember, with the cosine curve, if we have a value just here, by symmetry, we're going to have the same distance back from 360. So if this is x, then this is 360 minus x, or 2 pi minus x. So in the calculator, what I'm going to do now is the following. Make sure I'm in radians mode, shift mode 4. I'm going to take the inverse cosine of 3 quarters, and that now is going to give me 0 0.722 and so on and so forth. When you're doing this question, write it out fully. I'm going to save this in the calculator. I'm going to divide by 2, and we can say that x will be equal to, and this is considering the first one, x will be equal to, and just jotting down what's on my calculator, 0 0.361, so 0 0.361 dot dot dot, plus multiples of pi. We've got now 2x here. I'm solving now, so this is going to cycle every pi instead of 2 pi radians. So if we just solve this, what we can say then is 0 0.361 radians. That is the first solution, correct to three significant figures. And then all I'm going to do is add pi. So if I add now pi, let's go ahead and do that. So adding now, let's put in pi, let's hit shift pi. The next solution for the first one is 3.50. So we've got now 3.50. Again, correct to three significant figures. So if we do this one now, what I'm going to say is the following. If I do 2 pi minus my answer, and again, it's entirely up to you on how you want to do this. I'm going to divide this by 2. And we can say now that for the second one just here, 2.78. So therefore, we've got x is equal to 2.78 dot 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 plus multiples of pi. So that on the first one is going to be 2.78 radians. And that's correct to three significant figures. And then all I'm going to do is add a multiple of pi. So plus now shift pi. That's going to give me 5.92. So we've got 5.92. Again, correct to three significant figures. So we've got four solutions there, entirely up to you on how you want to solve them. If you want to do it differently, you're more than welcome to do so. But they are the four solutions that you should have in the interval where x is between 0 and 2 pi.